From VOA Learning English, this is the Science Report. Large governmental groups controlled seed production in Africa for many years. Owners of small farms had to buy their seeds from these agencies. But now there is an effort to make seeds from other suppliers available to African farmers. Edward Mabaya grew up in Zimbabwe. He says his family's small farm was very successful because his mother used different kinds of seeds. Mr. Mabaya is now a researcher at Cornell University in New York. He leads the African Seed Access Index, TSAI, which researches Africa's seed industry. The organization was launched in March. It is a joint effort of Cornell University, a nonprofit group called Market Matters, Inc., and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Tasai hopes to provide improved seeds to small farms. Mr. Mabaya says Tasai will try to improve different areas of the industry. Most farmers in Africa use the same seeds they have been planting for many years, unlike farmers in the Western world. The seeds have not been improved to resist disease or dry conditions. George Bajirwa works at the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa, or AGRA. He says there are not enough improved seeds in Africa to supply the millions of farmers who need them. He says improved seeds can help farmers increase their production by six times. Mr. Mabaiwa says if seed companies and farmers in Africa keep using the same agricultural technology as the rest of the world, someday Africa will be able to feed itself. For VOA Learning English, I'm Ann Ball.